going on guys? It's your boy Nas. Welcome back to another episode. Today we're gonna talk about this penny stock that I looked into and I don't know guys it has so much potentials and I'm just amazed how this company is so little when they're doing so much since November and I believe even farther than that. I, I'm totally shocked that this company is not, you know, $5 or $10 or even more, to be honest, guys. So before we start this video, guys, go click that subscribe button down there. Hit that notification. Hit that like button. Click that like button to 100 if you have to because that helps this video so much, guys. And if you haven't seen my other previous videos, go check them out. I also want to talk about a, a microvision industry MVIS stock that I talked about a couple of days ago. Guys, that was, that stock was $2.94 when I bought it. Now it's five, I think $5.10 or $5.20. Yeah, it just skyrocketed within two days, guys. It was a stock that was um, like in the penny stock. It was a penny stock then I'd, unfortunately I didn't get to buy it when it was penny stock I, I, I looked up I did some research and oh my god guys when it was in 294 on a Monday I was like I'm gonna have to buy this stock because it has so much potential guys if you wanna know about microvision um, go into my channel go look that video up uh, that will help you a lot to learn what this company is um, yeah it's 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 a 39,000 value high with five dollars in change within couple of, within a day or two guys I'm amazed as you are if you if you guys already have that stock so guys I want to talk about uh, global store industry I don't know why this company is a penny stock to be honest let's talk about global a uh, global store and what potential this stock has and the future I believe this stock is gonna go <laughs> maybe about thirty dollars I know it's still a long way to go even if it's just a 36 cents um, stock I bought 100 shares which is which cost me about thirty four dollars but when it pops when that dip pops and this <laughs> stock gets to the roof I'm, go I'm gonna be satisfied I'm bullish to be honest I'm definitely bullish so guys let's talk about global store I did some research and took some pictures of the importance of each document and what they talk about so let me tell you what global store industry is mobile satellite services Voice data communication service to satellite worldwide. It offers communication service by satellite, which includes two-way voice communication and data transform transformation using mobile and fixed devices. One-way data transformation using a mobile or fixed device that transmits location and other information to the central monitoring um, station. So this company is definitely worldwide, to be honest. It's it's such a great company um, let's get into more of the detail why global store is definitely the next stock you should invest on or even watch this stock until you know this stock's gonna go high um, I did some research let's get through some of the informations that I've actually learned and analyzed so global store industry today announced that it has often touched terrestrial authorization in Canada, Brazil, and Kenya. These three countries represents an additional cover population of 300 million and 3.7 billion MHS pops, bringing the company total to terrestrial authority over 9 million and coverage of total population approximately 700 million. So, Jay Monroe, Jay Monroe, exclusive chairman of Global Store, commented saying that since completing the FC, FCC licensing process for terrestrial service in 2.4 GHZ, we have pursued global initiative to obtain authorization in a multitude of countries to pursue a commercial 
uh, spectrum global harmonization. So this company is definitely worldwide um, in South America, even um, in Africa as well, and even um, US as well. This company is definitely obtaining so much authorization from so many co um, countries. Then Kevin added our relationship. Kevin added it's one of the um, one of the ownership. Uh, I forgot if he's this. Uh, I, I don't know if Kevin is uh, any ownership of this company, but he added that our relationship with Boyd Chrysler, uh, Chrysler, Chrysler. Sorry, the brand of the car, Chrysler, and the Jeep brand continues to expand on multiple fronts. With the launch of our Spot Gen 4 um, Jeep Edition, the addition of South America as a licensed territory and promotional opportunities with other Jeep brand partners. So this company is also um, partnered with Jeep and Chrysler, um, definitely launching their Spot Gen 4 Jeep Edition in South America. So you got you got Africa, you got um, South America. He's not only that in U.S. as well. Another important component of the business was plan a uh, reveraging uh, the immense brand quantity in our spot family of products. During the third quarter of 2020, we activated a recorded number of spot subscribers propelled by the additional of Bluetooth to our Spot XR, as well as our latest GPS messenger products in Spot Gen 4. So they're basically, you know, a company who's definitely involved with cars, Bluetooth, and transmission of data, locations, and stuff like that too. Um, then Dev Kevin, which is uh, the chief um, of Global Star commented, we are pleased to be in the home stretch of 2020. This year, obviously, you know, they didn't expect to, you know, be the victorious of 2020 because of pandemics. Um, this in in industry tempor to, uh, temporarily altered the trajectory of our commercial growth. We remain focused in the area of business. We believe it's a significant driver of future profitability. So it's definitely something they're working it up for to the future once the COVID really goes down. This company is the largest, uh, so it, it says we strongly believe that over the long term, Global Store largest satellite business opportunity are providing reliable, reliable data, uh, reliable connectivity around the globe for low bid rate of data as well emergency messaging and tracking for both consumers and enterprise so guys it, this and not only that guys um when i when i went to hedge funds hedge funds are people that analyzes and conduct a, a of you know conduct and do research on if the company is gonna hit or not and I know they have done so many things in the past that they made mistakes. Sometimes they don't usually, you know, be correct all the time. So they they're saying that heading into the fourth quarter of 2020, a total of 11 hedge funds tracked by Insider Insider Monkey were bullish on this stock. A chance of 22 percent uh, from one quarter earlier. The graph below displays the number of hedge funds with bullish position in. Global store over the last 21 quarters. So guys, uh, this company is it's definitely something you guys gotta look at because it's a penny stock. I feel like it's gonna grow over time. And not only that, guys, this company is gonna be something that you would look forward to just because it's still a penny stock. But this company is um, trying to it's it's not only they're you know involving their uh, company with. South America and out of country as well as Africa, um, in New York as well. So they're globally active and they're definitely gonna be the next big thing overall. Um, to be honest, if do some research on this, I did mine. I feel like this brand, this stock is gonna be skyrocketing within a couple of few weeks. Um, hopefully. 
this helped a little bit if you're if you're looking into this company as well and if you're still new guys um could do some research this company is gonna be something big and i hope that uh, you enjoyed this video of me talking about global store this is your boy Nas, and i'm signing off don't forget if you are still new and you want to invest there's a link in the description where you could sign up with your bank account once you start investing you get a free stock as well as i do as well and we both be happy and you know Let's get things started, guys. Invest with your brain, not with this. Honestly. It's your boy Nas, and I'm signing off.